Hoffa homies, it's like deja vu, isn't it? <laughs> it's not because it's October 2nd, 2017. Oh my God, a new month. I'm like inching ever so closely to maybe moving to California. Oh my goodness gracious. It's getting closer and closer. With that said, apologies, no Sunday siege or Sunday video. I was busy playing poker and then like I had to wake up early the next day, Sunday yesterday participate in a draft a fantasy basketball draft with a bunch of people that some I don't know and some I do but it was an early draft and you know if you you gotta be there in order to draft what you want and who you want what you want what you want what you want to do and so my timing was all messed up I didn't have enough, I didn't have enough time to do gameplay and whatever but with that said this past weekend was a rather eventful one to say the least mainly because of the man Russ that's right I've been making videos talking Talking about him saying will he or willn't will he or willn't he will he or won't he perform on Guam and you know what lo and behold he did not just once but twice because the first one sold out he's like hey might as well give the people what they want what they want what they want what they want he performed twice. I heard a lot of positive things about it, which meant that I did not go to either one. Because <laughs> these mother effers who requested off and crap wanted to go watch Russ while I had to work their shifts. So I wasn't really all that enthused to go. Like I said before, I don't really know him. I only know of one song, which was un unavailable, but he has a huge catalog, like on SoundCloud, I think, or whatever, of different songs and covers and whatnot. So. He does have a lot of songs. Unfortunately, I don't know many of them. Based on a lot of snaps and Instagram and Twitter and in-person interviews, a lot of people said it was a good show. It was, I think they said this, you know, his set was only maybe an hour, hour and a half long, which is kind of weird considering that they opened the doors at six. He didn't start performing until like darn near 11 and then finished up around maybe one or something like that. And then the rest of the time was spent with VIP giving you know, autographs and meet and greet and whatever. So. Oh my God, I'm your biggest fan. Please take a selfie with me. It wasn't a long show, but it was a good one based on the reactions that I got from other people. So with that said, I went uh, through the Twitterverse as I usually do, and I scoured posts and stuff, positives and negatives or whatever, but it's mostly positive. So what I gotta say is that yes, I did not go, but I did want to go, but I just didn't want to pay the money, okay? To be honest, I don't want to pay for something that I don't know what I'm getting into, but now that people said it was great, I do regret not going. With that said, I think it's a great thing that he came he stopped by he, uh, he 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 exposed himself to what guam had to offer and he liked it and you know he was putting out his uh twitter you know saying nothing but positive things about the island so hopefully with that positivity other performers will come to the island i posted on my uh twitter uh you can follow that if you want but five artists that i would like to see come to this island is number one post malone of course as that's why i played that song in the earlier you know deja vu number two little dicky number three kendrick lamar number four for Logic and number five Cardi B because why the hell not you know I mean she was number one she, I, I think it was on Billboard or whatever so I might as well you know check out see her your energy and what she wears and stuff but yeah that, those are the five people I like to see perform on Guam who knows maybe they will maybe they won't it's, it, it's up in the air whether they have time to come down which is why I sort of you know I nod my respect to Russ for making time to come down to this little, little island of ours and putting on some some awesome shows posted it on his Twitter don't lie look how beautiful Guam is. Guam night one legendary. Tomorrow night is round two. Guam night two was amazing. Such a beautiful slept on island. Amazing people and energy. Guam flag, Guam flag, Guam flag, Guam flag, Guam flag. It's just awesome, you know. It's awesome that he's putting Guam in the spotlight. Last time I checked, 20, 20,000 plus tweets trending but of course it's, it's trending for me like it's based on my likes and whatever but still 20,000 is pretty pretty big considering he also did a music video like this baby don't lie to me I don't know why you need to just lie, lie, lie. and then 
there's just other videos that shows the performance and whatever. So it, it's a lot of good stuff. <laughs> Check out some of these tweets here. Guam, you knew more lyrics and songs than 99% of other places I've performed. Who knows if that's really true or if he just says that to every place he performs at. But it, it's nice to see that he recognizes that we do follow and listen and whatever. So that shows more appreciation to other artists. Like, hey, if, if they know what he's putting out, maybe they'll know what we're putting out and we might put out a good show or something. Russ said, if he ever falls in love again, it will be with a Guam chick. LMA -O, 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 o hashtag lit. I'm pretty sure he would have like a pick of the litter if he wanted to on this island. You know what I mean? Even if these girls had boyfriends, I, come on. I'm pretty sure every dude's gonna be like, fuck. But it is Russ though, so I guess maybe he can, you know, trade one of his groupies or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Popularity is very strong. Anywhere you go, right? Any celebrity, you know, girls are gonna just be throwing it at you. No doubt that he ever does fall in love again with a Guam chick, that Guam chick that he happens to be choosing will definitely probably say yes most likely here's another one damn russ has given guam more publicity than pia mia since she started her career just saying now i don't know if that's true or not this could just be a very salty post pia mia she is a guam product but she lives in the states stops by every now and then but i don't know that i don't really see that many mentions from pia mia about guam her, her promoting you know you should stop by or, you know you should she doesn't make a commercial about Guam or whatever, you know, like a tourism commercial. Russ made a video, you know, promoting Guam. I don't, I don't, I don't see, I haven't seen PME really do that. So this could be true or it could be salty. Who knows? And then this last one, basically it's about red rice. <laughs> Russ said, make some motherfucking noise for red rice. Like, I guess he really loves red rice. Red rice is pretty damn good, okay? But it all depends on who makes it. Not every red rice is the same, depends on who cooks it. But red Red rice in general usually is a very good staple here. Like a lot of people love red rice. Go to KFC on this island and you can order a big old platter of red rice if you wanted to. Just saying. If you want to learn how to make it, look it up. How to make red rice. Try it out. See what happens. With that said, this is just a little quick update saying that Russ came to this island. He performed two awesome shows. On top of that, like on his second show, he's like, who's trying to come to the Guam show tonight? but can't afford tickets i put you on the list to get in like you don't see that many artists say that you know what you know nothing's selling but just let them in right like fuck it if you want to come down come in and take grab a chair you know what i'm saying enjoy the show like i don't see that many artists doing that ever right there could be some artists that actually do that but to see somebody like russ who is up and coming he doesn't have a really strong name yet to basically just say hey man i got my money fuck it <laughs> let him in <laughs> you know what i'm saying so you know who knows that is kind of nice of him if i had known i probably would have went after work i was supposed to go after work my homie uh, hit me up and say hey i might get free tickets you know you want to go and then when i was like yeah i'm go i want to go and he's like oh crap sorry it's too late my friend gave away the tickets we won't be able to go i'm like ah oh, shucks but anyways guys kudos to russ for promoting guam russ is probably gonna know a lot of you know popular up-and-coming artists that he could spread the word and maybe these artists might want to stop by and perform who knows cross his fingers anyways as always guys please like comment and subscribe speaking of subscribe like because of the whole russ thing i did have a couple comments basically like some negative comments on my previous videos you know before russ came to guam like saying whatever and bleh, shut up hater like <laughs> hey thanks for watching you can take it as me being a hater but like i said in the previous video i didn't know who he was that well and stuff but now people love him and so you know i'm not gonna talk any crap about the guy he came right he fulfilled his word he fulfilled the promise so i respect that hope he comes back hope he brings you know more people hope more people want to come hope guam gets you know put in a bigger spotlight and brings in tourism and stuff because to be honest this whole north korea thing it it is really screwing up the <laughs> The, the the tourism here okay i'm gonna be completely honest in my restaurant it's been pretty dang slow when it comes to customers coming in <sighs> 
as always guys please like like lock please like comment and subscribe love peace and chicken grease we are almost to 650 on to 700